Yo, what's up? Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I did not know that gaming on YouTube was this bad, but trust me, it's getting out of hand. When I think about gaming on YouTube, I think of the good old days of Call of Duty or maybe even some old Fortnite videos, but I do not think of this. Like seriously, what is YouTube turning into? A place where people can just poop out a video and get a million kids to watch? Like this needs to stop. It's time to stop! But if you think that's bad, it gets even worse. This YouTuber is doing something that is so messed up. And if this kid got caught, his channel would definitely be deleted instantly. And that's what we're going to be investigating in this video. There's actually a secret that not many people have figured out about this certain YouTuber. And I'm going to explore all of that with you today. But we also need to figure out a couple of things. What is the true identity of this guy? Why is he doing these videos? Will he ever stop? And if I somehow find him on social media, I don't know if I will be able to, will he stop doing this? And will he become a better YouTuber if I try to convince him? I know the perfect person to call to help us figure out those questions. Detective DJ is back and he has another case to solve with you, but this one is different. This case is way deeper than any of my other videos. So we're gonna have to dive deep into this. We're going to watch this YouTuber and then try to talk to him and see why he posts these videos. It's going to be super juicy. And we kind of have to solve this case to make gaming on YouTube great again. I hope you're ready to help me clean up YouTube. Welcome to the worst gaming YouTuber ever. On my channel, we try to clean up the bad content on YouTube. If you want to help me make YouTube a better place, click subscribe and if you don't want to subscribe that's completely fine just sit back and enjoy my videos I also have merch now the link is in the description or on the screen if you want to wear some awesome clothing before we go off on the most horrible gaming youtuber I'm gonna help him out a little bit Filmora 10 is a video editor that has pretty much everything you need to start making better videos on YouTube have you ever thought about doing YouTube but your channel just didn't get subscribers having quality YouTube videos is probably one of the biggest things you can do to help your channel. With Filmora 10, you get awesome key features that every big YouTuber uses, like keyframing, motion tracking, and keyboard shortcuts so you can make your videos look as good as you want. Even I use these same features, such as keyframing to move my edits around to make them pop, and even keyboard shortcuts to make the process overall faster. Filmora 10 is definitely one of the easiest video editors to use in my opinion, and it's definitely awesome for any type of video editing. It's great for gaming, informative videos, or even videos like mine. Create your own video with Filmora and tweet it at me using the hashtag create with Filmora. And Wondershare will be choosing one person to win a year free license. A video editing software is step one to creating awesome videos. And now you can do that. After this video, check out the link in the description to get Filmora 10 and have fun making awesome videos. The reason I really wanted to do this video was because I used to love watching gaming videos on YouTube, and I know you did too, but after seeing this YouTuber and how YouTube didn't even notice his channel, I knew I had to do something instead. A couple weeks ago I was scrolling through my comments because, like I always say, everybody knows I read my comments, and a lot of people were telling me about a YouTuber named Dole. I was so confused because I thought that was like a brand of soap or something, but I just looked at his channel anyway, and that was a mistake. I was cringing. Dole does something that I've never seen any other YouTuber do and it's really weird. And there's also a creepy background to this guy that not many people know about. So he has a live stream that says, Fortnite item shop countdown. And that looks normal, right? A lot of people do that. Well, that's where you're wrong. It's not normal. We're gonna look at this and uncover all of its mysteries soon. But first, we need to see what type of videos he's posting. And just a warning, there's a lot of cringe coming up. How to get imposter every time in Among Us. I really want to see what he says in this video because we all know this is fake. Make sure to like and subscribe in the next five seconds or else this glitch will not work for you. And yes. Also, I'm doing a free pets giveaway. So if you want any pet in Among Us for free, all you have to do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and then comment down below what pet you want ten times. Ten times? There's no way anybody is actually going to comment ten times to join your fake giveaway. Oh, oh my gosh. Alright, this is the tricky part. You want to click the Skeld. Four people, two imposters. So it brings it up to seven. Next, you want to click Polis. Ten people, three imposters. Next, you want to click Mirror HQ. One imposter. The Skeld, seven. Confirm. What? What? 
This dude is clicking random buttons, making it up as he goes. This is the funniest part. He starts changing the language like that's going to do anything. Next, what you want to do is put it to 10, 2, 3, 1, mirror HQ, change region to Spanish, Polsky, Arabic. The whole rest of this video, he's just switching up settings. And then at the end of the video, he doesn't even show him becoming the imposter. He just says, it works, and ends the video. Now that you see what type of videos he's posting, we need to get into the part of his channel where it gets horrible. So he has a Fortnite live stream that goes up every once in a while, and it's literally a 30 second clip of him begging people to subscribe and like the video. And it keeps repeating. It's literally on a loop over and over and over, and the kids don't even realize. And oh, let me tell you, the amount of two year olds in this chat just spamming and begging for free skins is crazy. I don't know how they don't understand it. it's fake. It's literally looping over and over, but that isn't even the bad part. He tells people to subscribe to him and like the video over and over, right? But he also does something else that's really horrible. He says that if people want free skins for Fortnite and Among Us, click the link in the chat. And I clicked on that link and it leads to a scam website. You type in your Fortnite username. It says you're going to get free skins, but you don't. You have to go through a bunch of ads and then who knows what happens. It might steal your whole Fortnite account and all of your information on there. or it might just be a huge sick lie to make money off of kids. It's also an unsecure website, so it could be tracking your location right when you click on the link. This dude is seriously weird. And if he's actually stealing those little kids Fortnite accounts, those accounts might even have their parents' credit cards on it, phone numbers on it, and even worse, their home addresses on it. So you're telling me that there is a dude on YouTube brainwashing kids into clicking a link that does who knows what that is so disgusting. I honestly think he might get these accounts and sell them to random people for money. If we ever end up messaging him in this video, I definitely am gonna ask him what he does with that link. I just hope he doesn't steal people's accounts. Now I had no idea where to go with this video because he didn't have any social media linked up to his account so I couldn't really message him. But I found something that helped me out so much. I was getting closer to solving this case. I went on one of his videos and it said, this video was uploaded by Charizard Freak's mom and dad. This is just an old trick that fake YouTubers use. They say, someone's mom and dad uploaded the video so YouTube doesn't ban their channel. Joel Fortnite did the same thing with his channel if you remember back when we exposed him, but you guys know what happened to that channel. So, who's Charizard Freak? In the description of Dole's video, he said that the video was uploaded by Charizard Freak's mom and dad. So, is Charizard Freak Dole's secret YouTube channel? I was ready to figure out this mystery, but I did not expect this to happen. So after finding out that valuable information, I searched up for Charizard Freak's YouTube channel and I came across a channel called Chari. This might just be Dole's second channel, but I wasn't sure. Dole's description says Charizard Freak, but this channel is Chari. I looked up and then I saw the YouTube channel URL for this channel was actually Charizard Freak, so I found him. Target acquired. But who is this? He's making Among Us creepypasta videos? This had to be Dole's channel. I mean, it's the same type of clickbait videos for kids. I decided to click on his videos just to make sure it was Dole and... What is up everybody and welcome back to He another. sounded nothing like him at all. Wait a minute, who are you? This can't be his second channel. So now I'm just wondering why Dole is talking about Chari in his description if this isn't even his other channel. Are they friends or something? I needed to figure this out. I didn't know what to do, so I looked around for a way to talk to Chari. I wanted to ask him if he was friends with Dole, or if he actually was Dole, so I ended up finding his Instagram, and I messaged him. He didn't answer for a while, but when he finally did, he said, I don't own Dole. He's a YouTuber that steals from me. Oh, so that definitely helped out, but even he didn't even have a clue who Dole was. I asked him, and he said he didn't know who it was. This Dole guy was a ninja. <laughs> So with Chari out of the investigation, I still had no idea who this Dole kid was. I really wanted to message Dole and clean up YouTube, but I had no idea how I could do it. I couldn't find any of his social media accounts, and I was just stumped. I felt like I failed, and I feel like I let you guys down. I threw the video away completely. Later that night, I logged back onto my computer, and his Fortnite livestream was still on there from earlier when I was watching it, so I decided I wanted to have some fun. I started typing in the chat, trying to tell all the kids that they're being brainwashed by this Dole dude, and I was just having some fun. After that, I closed out of the tab and planned on taking my L and finding another video to make.
Later that night, I got a message on Instagram, and it was from a random account, somebody named Aiden. He was telling me that he scams his fans. Um, that's pretty weird. And then he sent me a screenshot of a post by Priesty. Who in the world is Priesty? The screenshot that he sent me showed a picture of Dole's live chat with the messages that I was just talking about. So, who is Priesty? And who is this Aiden kid that told me he scams his fans? I just decided to search up Priesty's YouTube account and maybe I could find something that would make this video work out because remember, I threw this video away when I couldn't find any evidence on Dole. And I figured out that this is Dole's other YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. And he's doing the same exact thing on this account too. Live streaming for kids. But don't get too happy because I had another problem. Once again, this YouTube account had no social medias attached to it, just like Dole's main channel. So I couldn't find any way to contact him. I was thinking and I decided to go back to the last possible thing I could have done. This was my last chance. I decided to message that Aiden kid who sent me the screenshot earlier. I thought this could be Dole because he said we love scamming kids, so maybe him and Dole are best friends, or maybe this is Dole, but this did not go as I planned it. I said, so you're Priesty or Dole. I really wanted to figure out who Dole was and just talk to him, and this might be him. He said, no, I'm not Priesty, and I didn't believe him. It could have just been him acting. He then said, go message him, I'm not him. See, the problem with that is, I didn't know Priesty's username on Instagram. He told me to go message him, but I didn't have it. In the picture that the kid sent me earlier, it actually showed Priesty's Instagram. But every time I searched it up, nothing came up, so he must have changed his username. So, I was stuck. I was gonna ask that Aiden kid what Dole's Instagram name was, but he was taking years to answer. I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and then I got a message from somebody else. Somebody named Jesse messaged me and said, yo, I had no idea who this was, but I was hoping it was Dole. So I was trying to act cool. And I said, hey, I know you, let's talk. That would have been extremely awkward if it was just like a random fan. And I was like, hey, I know you. I decided to ask if he was Priesty or Dole, whatever you want to call him. And he said, yes, he owned both those channels. But should I believe him? Almost anybody on the internet could say, yes, I'm Dole. This could even be that Aiden kid from before just messing with me. I asked if he owned the channel Dole just to make sure Priesty and Dole was the same person. And he said yes. And then he said something I never expected him to say. He said, I'm trying to change my content. I did not know what to say, but I was so happy. That was the last thing I thought he would say. But honestly, I didn't even believe him yet. Like I said earlier, anybody on the internet could just say yes, I'm Dole with no proof. So... I did exactly that. I asked him for proof that he owns those channels and he actually sent me proof. This was his channel and we finally got to talk to the person that I'd been waiting weeks to talk to. This ninja that had been avoiding me for so long was not a ninja anymore. I finally found him. Well, I guess he found me because he messaged me first, but still. I almost threw away my video a couple days ago, but now I was feeling better about it and I was ready to clean up YouTube. But I heard from plenty of people that if you try to message Dole, he doesn't listen to you at all. And even sometimes he can be extremely rude and he doesn't care. If I want to clean him up off of YouTube, I might have to do something crazy. So I asked him a question that almost everybody wants to know the answer to. Remember when I said that he posts those links that ask for your Fortnite username? I wanted to know if that stole people's accounts. He said that all it does is shows them an ad which gets him paid. I literally thought it stole accounts. That would have been horrible. So I guess it's good that it just shows them ads, but still, it's very weird. Lying to kids and then getting paid off of them? That sounds a lot like Eli So Cray to me. I made DJ Cook who he is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I then asked him another question that we all wanted to know. Why are you using Chari's name in your description? Like, what's the point of that? I even messaged Chari before this and I asked him if he was Dole and he was saying, no, I'm not Dole. So why in the world does it say Chari's parents own Dole's channel? So I asked, why is Chari's name in your description? He told me that he copied Chari's whole description and forgot to take that part out. Seriously, dude. I then decided to level up and dive even deeper into this. I wanted to help him change his content and I wanted to really clean up YouTube this time. So I told him that he needed to change up his content and guess what he said? He agreed with me. He said he knows he needs to and he plans on doing it soon. He told me that he's tired of making these fake videos and fake live streams for kids and it's just not good for him. 
and I'm sure we all agree. Everything was perfect. I helped him clean up his channel and I felt great. But then I got another message that threw this video right into the air. Somebody told me that Dole and his friend Aiden, you remember from earlier in the video, they've done some pretty bad stuff in the past. So I messaged him about it. Dole told me that he used to talk to Aiden a lot, but he started being weird, so he stopped talking to him. He also said that Aiden is an 11 year old that scams kids, smokes stuff, and sends weird pictures to people on Snapchat. Seriously, bro, this kid is a school threat. Here's another picture of him. After seeing this stuff and hearing about it, I tried to message Aiden, but he didn't answer me. I'm pretty sure this kid does not want to talk, but I'm not the cleaner of personal life, so I'm just the cleaner of YouTube, and we solved our case. Thanks to Dole, he's actually trying to fix his content, and he's planning on making better videos soon. I'm glad I got to do this video because a lot of people have been telling me about Dole and how he's extremely hard to talk to and just how he refuses to change, but I guess he changed his mind and he's ready to become a great YouTuber. We cleaned up YouTube and now I'm off to go investigate some other bad YouTubers. Be ready for my next video. Now you can watch another video by me by clicking on one of the four videos on the screen right now. Whichever one seems the most interesting to you, you can go ahead and watch it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can easily just click the subscribe button. It's free and you'll get access to all of my awesome videos.